Page 28, big yellow taxi. 4-4 four, four time, one flat. This, we're still in the key of F major. Make sure you can do the F major scale. So you have to look at the end and see what the chord is. Is it an F, F major chord? No, it's got a seventh in there. But the overall sound of it, the overall, it, it is an F major. F major. Let's do this one hand at a time, make sure we get this rhythm, because we've got some weird stuff going on. When the right hand comes in, it's on the end of four. Four and, so. Four and, one and, two and, three and, four and. Three and, four and, one. And that's for four counts, so you can recover. Now, at the end of the line, measure six, it's second finger, and then you're going to use thumb. You're going to cross over. So, because this puts us in position for where we're coming. So it's here. One and two and three and four and. And if that's confusing you, then simply take out those ties and play all the notes in the measure and see if that helps. So measure seven. One and two and three and four and five is what it is with the ties, then you just hang on to the note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Measure 11. You got rest, you got time to come up. One and two and three and four and the B flat, it's in the signature. Again, one and two and three and four and one and two. Well, that's weird. Let's look at that. Again, just take out those ties and let's just play all these notes here. One and two and three and four and one and two is how it would be. You're just hanging on to the note rather than playing it again when you put in the tie. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and you gotta come down this we're changed hand position. One and two and three and four and one and during the one you gotta come down. So starting at measure thirteen again. One, two, three, four and one and two and three and four and then come back up had some of these before they're just adding a few more notes measure 18 the C may it's a looks like a C scale actually it's an F scale but we're starting on the note C because when you do a scale you can start on any note but we're, we have a B flat so it's not a C scale it's just here it's like a C major scale fingering but you'll find this is also the fingering for F major too eventually one and two And you gotta bring the thumb down there. Let's go on over to measure 24. You're here, one and one. My thumb's playing all this, but we're going to do this. And I, I would prefer on the last note, if your hand's big enough, use three. Here, three, one. That's what I want, and then I'm going to use thumb for measure 25, so I can connect the melody. So it's here, here. If you've got small hands, you may be stuck with the book. Here, but I, I would prefer to connect the melody. Left hand, this is the, your drums, this is going in the bass, one and two and three. Second measure, one and two and three and rest, two, so forth. Not a lot going on in the left hand. Let's put the hands together because the rhythms are different. You know, the beginning is not bad, it's just left hand. Four. Now you, 
can see between the staves how the notes line up and you can tell which notes in each staff are played at the same time. So I can measure three. These notes of beat one are together and then an F and then two D. These are all together because they line up. One and two and three and four. Oh, measure four. It's tied in the right hand and not the left. And two. And that's the biggest challenge of this, is getting the rhythm between the hands to work out together. Let's go down to measure 11. At the bottom of the page, you're here. One and two and three and four and one. And one. So they don't play at the same time there. Again, one and two and three and four and one and two. This is just, you're going gobbledygook here. Just work it out slowly and you'll get it. Measure 13. One, two. It's like, what? Well, careful. Measure 13. One, two, three, four and one. simply wait until I play it for you. Uh, oh, okay, I get it. I would really prefer, it would tickle me silly, if you were able to actually read the music and work out the rhythm, you gradually speed it up, and then it starts to make sense once you start speeding it up. But that's where, that's where, okay, now you've got it. Otherwise, all you know how to do is copy. Anyway, you work out the hands together. And as far as articulation goes, they got some slurring. Once you get to know the piece, you can add your own. You may want some staccatos occasionally. You may put in some accents occasionally. It's how you feel it. But get to know it first. Otherwise, just go ahead and connect everything as best you can, except for the rest. And we'll leave that uh, to the articulation. The only th other thing would be that arpeggiated chord at the end. The last chord. This, these uh, C here. It's just one note at a time. How fast you roll? Well, that depends on the music and the mood and how you're interpreting it. Some of these are played very slowly. Some of them are played very quickly. It's the mood of the piece. Well, here I haven't talked about dynamics, so we'll talk about this a little bit later. Let's talk about dynamics. Starting out moderately loud. Whatever you think moderately loud is, I don't know. But then when the melody comes in, it takes over the moderately loud, and the left hand goes soft. So you're here. So, so, so. This comes out, and this is soft. Measure five. All the time I'm playing this, I want to hear that. Measure six, this is soft. Then the, the, now it's moderately loud. Measure eleven, now you're soft. That's here. Left hand is very soft. Fifteen, or the pickup to measure fifteen. You go back up to moderate. And then you have this measure night eighteen. You start that moderately loud, and you're going to go up to soft. You get softer as you go up. I do it like an, a beat at a time. So you start moderately loud, just soft. 
da, 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 da. I, I feel it like a beat at a time. And the left hand now is very soft. Measure 20, uh, pick up to measure 23, you go back up to. And I've added these accents on measure 24. That takes them up to loud. I'd keep the left hand in the background. And then soft, both hands. There's no melody here. Again, you're soft at the end, and what's the mood of the piece? That tells you how fast to roll it, sort of. Speed-wise, well, this is a fairly quick piece. How fast it is, well, that depends on how fast you can play it accurately. It's not really super fast, it's just sort of fast. Huh? I'm sure you can get cop or find copies or music of people singing it or bands playing it and get an idea of what it sounds like. They've added pedal at the last measure. If you want to pedal it, go ahead. Go ahead and push the pedal down right after you play the first note in that chord. And lift the pedal with the hands. I don't use pedal on that kind of a situation. Because I didn't use pedal anywhere else. I'm not going to use it here either. But you can if you want to. That's part of interpreting the music. And I haven't talked really much about a, these fermatas. Like at the end of this, how long do you hold them? Well, when you're performing it, it's a felt thing. It, there's no set time. It, it could be one beat. It could be who knows how many beats. When I play it with a metronome, I just double the value and hold it. In this case, it would be eight counts instead of four. That's how I do it. You do it any way you want. I would like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. Uh, so I'll give us four counts. So let's just play it together very slowly. One, two, ready, and go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, and three.
three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold.